What's up, Phaser Games? It's Mr. Compenge, and I'm back with more Team Fortress 2. I'm playing the Pyro, I've got the default loadout, and it's payload. But I'm going to start playing different things. Instead of just going to payload from now on, I actually go and I go to uh, the random. Now then, here are a few things I learned about the Pyro. It used to be my least favorite class, but now I actually quite enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Your best bet to kill people is around corners. Alright? When they walk around that corner, they're not expecting you to be there. Boom. You blast them in the face with fire. You take them down. At least that's the hope. As well, a huge thing that pyros can do for your team is spies. If you guys didn't know about that, yeah, you can walk on that little ledge there. And it's a decent way to get up close to the card here. And right here you're going to see I'm going for the medic. And he ran away, right? Which then let me actually kill his uh, his heavy. Unfortunately, him and two other medics come back and kill me. But point is, I got rid of their person on the front line who was trying to keep my team back. Which in Team Fortress, that's really all that you're looking for is you're trying to oppress the enemy team so that you can move your team further, further ahead, or just keep them back, at least in payload. In different game modes, it's a little bit different of what you do and don't want to do. You want to press them to keep them off of a point instead of to keep them from advancing to a point, but... I don't know, it's all the same. Anyways, see, like, right here, I saw him, um... I saw him cloak. I couldn't think of a word. So that's how I knew to spray, but... Say I hadn't seen him and I just sprayed anyways, well, he would have caught flames and gone up anyways. Now, right here, I kind of failed. I just died, but point is, I got two of the medics off the cart for a period of time, which, you know, helped out, I guess, really. Now then, I personally never use melee weapons here, except for the demo man, I'll use it with him sometimes, but I rarely actually ever use um, melee. I'll use my primary and my secondary, just because I find them to be good, I think. Especially the secondary here for the pyro here, the flamethrower. Not the flamethrower, the, um, the flare gun. Thank you. I love the flare gun. From a distance, you just shoot it, it arcs down, it hits them, they catch fire. You know, it's, it's a nice deterrent, and it makes people, when people are on fire, they keep burning until they're healed, I believe. So it makes it so they have to back off to get to that health, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a very good thing. Also, if you didn't know, pyros can't catch fire. They can just take fire damage, but they can't actually catch fire. Just just so you know. Just saying. But now then, you're going to see that, well, they got extra time. You know, oh crap, they're going to win. But they don't win, actually. Just let me ruin it for you right now really quick. We actually uh, were actually able to stop them here at this checkpoint here. Ugh, I cannot speak. Anyways, there you go, you see me pulling out the flare gun. Now this is one thing I like to do with offense classes, is try and get into them right there. You're gonna see like right there what I did is I ran into a group of them, and I jumped around, I moved around, I dodged some bullets, all while always firing. Even if I don't get to kill any of them, it's a distraction. And it does quite a bit of damage to them. So I'm going to be keeping them off the carts while they're concerned trying to get me. And in payload defense, that's what, that's what you really want. You want to keep them off the cart as much as possible. If that means killing them, well then you kill them. If you can't kill them, well then you distract them. And then right here you see, whoa, all these people around the corner, what? I just got two of them, right? Now then, I'm going back for health, I don't know why, I, fi I figured as though I needed it, and this guy was just dumb, honestly, this guy, and yet he still ends up killing me. I don't understand, it seems as though pyros take a lot of damage, and die really easily, it's something I've noticed, which makes me very sad, just because of the fact that, you know, I, I quite enjoy them now, <clears throat> to be honest. Uh, when we come out here... You're just going to see basically the same thing over and over again. I'm going to go around a corner. 
I'm gonna wait for them to come out. I'm gonna spray fire in their face. That's gonna be a good time. See, again, it's always around the corner. If you're a pyro and you know that the enemy is gonna be coming through there, crouch down around that corner and as soon as you see them, let loose. Let loose with the fire and even if they kill you right away, point is you're still gonna set them on fire and they're not gonna be expecting it and you're gonna set the enemy team back. Which is really all that matters. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna heal you. Oh then, right here, somebody called for a spy. So as a pyro, if somebody calls and says, hey, there's a spy around here, one thing you need to do, since you're the one who's most easily able to identify spies, is run around with your gun blasting. Right here you're gonna see I'm using the, the flamethrower, I just hit another pyro. But you just shoot it. You just shoot it into a group of people, you're gonna hit one, and they're gonna catch fire. I mean, it's damage done, which is what matters. And let me just throw this out there, I haven't done medic yet, but if you're a medic, and you're only healing heavies, you're dumb. Alright, a lot of times, a demo man or a pyro can get in there and do just as well. If not better, because of the fact they can direct their damage. I find better than a heavy can. I've seen some really good heavies, but I don't know. I've, they're not really my favorite class to play, to be honest. See, so right here, I'm kind of just looking around for spies. There aren't any. So we're just going to kind of come right here. We're going to come through, and we're just going to start shooting this stuff. And I was going to run out for that heavy and a couple other guys, but I saw all of his friends, so I decided that's too many. See, but again here, I'm just trying to slow them down, keep them off the cart. Because you gotta remember, that is the main objective here, is keep them off the cart. Okay. See, this guy here, he's alright too. He's on the pyro, I don't like his hat. I don't like it at all. I will say though, if you're going to be a pyro, don't use the default uh, the default flamethrower. The back burner is a pretty good one because if you get behind your enemies, you do an extra 25% damage, which is a lot. You can see right here, I just killed someone with the flare gun. I've just been setting people on fire. They're coming back. I see a guy over there, so I'm just going to fire in his direction. I mean, why not? If you fire in a random direction, you've got to hit something eventually, right? I mean, just look at all the cross-map tomahawks and stuff from Call of Duty. You now then, I'm using this flare gun just because of the fact that I don't want to run out there. Because if I run out there and I try and hit them with my flamethrower, I'm going to die for sure. But if I just use the flare gun, I can pop in and out. And that's going to give me a chance to hit them, suppress them, and not die. Well, that's the hopes, really. What are you doing? Man, my cat is just going crazy right now. I don't know why. Oh, God. I'm pissed off at him. He just puked all over my bed. Thanks, kitten. Anyways, that is not what this is about. This is about being an effective pyro in Team Fortress 2, right? I mean, one thing I didn't really cover is that at the beginning of any match, you want to be right by that door when it's opening. You want to be right there and you want your flames going through that door so that you can keep the enemy in their spawn as long as possible. Remember this, if you're ever playing payload, what you do, you get in there, you start just blasting your flame all over their spawn, they're either going to run back to get more health or they're going to die. That's what you need to do as a pyro at the beginning of a game. For the rest of the game, you need to look out for spies, you need to oppress the enemy, and you need to just... Well, burn shit. I mean, really. That's all there is to it. Just burn everything. If you see something, burn it. That's all I gotta say. One thing I didn't cover is that if you right-click with the pyro, you get um, an air blast. Those can actually deflect rockets, and one great use for this is if you see 
someone who's Ubered by a medic, air blast them. Air blast them away as far as you can, and you should get them out of the medic's range. That way, that's only the medic that's Ubered, and the person on the line, on the front line, is no longer Ubered, and you can kill them. Anyways, I'm Mr. Compench. Give this a like, subscribe to Phaser, come check me out. I'm out. Peace.